Uh, joining us now is Dr. Robert Murphy. He's a professor of infectious diseases at Northwestern University Feinberg School of Medicine. Good morning, doctor. Hey, good morning. So this AstraZeneca situation with the blood clots, um, the company says uh, this is no different than any other drug. Do you agree? Well, you know, the problem is when you vaccinate 17 million people, like was well, done with AstraZeneca, they, they vaccinated 17 million people. That's, it's incredible that that's happened so quickly. They have only 15 reported deep venous thrombosis, that's a blood clot, uh, mostly in the leg, and 22 pulmonary emboli, terrible blood clot to the lung, but, uh, potentially lethal. Um, and they're saying that out of 17 million people, this is not an unusual, this is actually less than what is expected in 17 million people. So, but this is a big problem with when you roll vaccines out into the millions of people. Now, what the Norwegians and uh, Danish uh, noted was that these things happen in uh, very temporally related to administering the vaccine. So that's a cautionary tale. So, you know, a variety of countries have put it on hold and they're just waiting to see. There's a big 20,000 person study here in the United States and Mexico, and those results should be out soon. So I think if they don't show it there, I think uh, maybe this is uh, just all coincidence. Dr. Murphy, the CDC is reviewing data that suggests that maybe we don't need to be six feet apart. We could be three feet apart. You pointed out this morning over email that this is something that you've been saying for months. Um, and it would have also a huge impact on reopening schools across the country. Yeah, it, 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 it has a huge impact. The, you know, there are many studies looking at different coronaviruses, SARS, the, the ones with the regular colds and stuff. There was a giant meta-analysis done, published in The Lancet uh, just a little over a year ago. and. They showed three feet was very significant in uh, decreasing the amount of infection. Of course, six feet is even more. Uh, and then and 12 feet is even more than six feet. You know, it, it just keeps going, you know, as farther away than you get. But three feet is the critical number. Under that, there was really, uh, it was no protection, no mitigation uh, response at all. So I think three feet is uh, really uh, is a safe number. We are seeing a new wave of infections in Europe as you're seeing a, a growing number of people in America not willing to get vaccinated. Do you see these two issues converging? Uh, they could. Now, the Europeans have a different story uh, going on over there. Very little vaccination overall, except for the United Kingdom, uh, because it's a bigger crisis there. But these other countries are slow to roll out the vaccines. Uh, and they, as soon as they lifted up the mitigation efforts, the social distancing and everything, every look at the, how crowded the streets are here and everything. Uh, you know, the apartments are smaller there, the venues are smaller, people are more tightly packed in uh, to these cities. Uh, you know, and they're having this terrible surge of cases again. It's uh, it's really very unfortunate. Here we have more people vaccinated. We have a lot more space. Uh, so, you know, we'll see what happens here, but this is a cautionary tale for sure. Here's a few viewer questions. Cook County Health Department gave us our second Pfizer vaccination 18 days after the first instead of 21. Is that okay? Yes, it's okay. There's, there's really no uh, magic in 21 days. It's approximately 21 days. You can put, right now they're saying plus or minus four and actually longer intervals may even be more effective. So. Uh, 18 days is nothing to worry about. All right, I have had my second dose. My daughter and husband will be totally vaccinated the first week of April. When will it be safe for her to come home and spend the weekend? That is a really good practical question. The answer is two weeks after your last, of, of your second dose of the Moderna or Pfizer vaccine or Novavax if that comes up, or two weeks after your Johnson & Johnson because that's only a one dose vaccine. So it's two weeks after that last dose. And final question, can friends and family who are fully vaccinated hold my nine-month-old baby? Yes, they can. That's, uh, that's the guidelines. So people will be happy about that. Yeah. All right. My daughter has a severe egg allergy. Can she get the vaccination? Another good question, because this comes up with influenza vaccine. Uh, but with uh, the current uh, COVID vaccines, there are no egg products in it. Now, anybody with any allergy is slightly more prone to get an allergy from this, so she just needs to tell the, uh, the technician or nurse who's giving the vaccine that she has it. They will keep her probably around in the uh, uh, vaccination center for 30 minutes after the vaccine, but this should not stop her from taking the vaccine. All right, Dr. Murphy, thanks for your time this morning. Thank you, doctor.